boys and girls, my name is Miss Jillian and I'm a librarian working with the Petersburg Public Library this summer for our virtual summer reading program. The theme this year is Imagine Your Story. Children of all ages are encouraged to be inspired by the world around them and write your own stories. I would love to hear what you have to say. For our first story time series, I am going to read a book from one of my favorite authors and his name is Dr. Seuss. Can anyone name a Dr. Seuss story? Very good. Wonder, oh, that's one of my favorites. All right, did anyone mention the book? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. If you did, give yourself a nice pat on the back. Well, that is a story that I am going to be reading today. But before we get started with Dr. Seuss's book, I think it would be wonderful if we did our own little craft so you can join in with me on the story time. So the materials that you need are hopefully things you have already around the house. You will need a plain piece of paper, a pencil or a marker, some crayons, tape, and some scissors. And if you're too young, make sure you ask a family member to help you with the cutting. Okay, so to start out, you're gonna take your plain, oh, I forgot one other thing you need. You need your fingers. So take one of your hands and place it down on the paper and then you're just going to trace around your fingers and of course my hand is a little bigger than yours so I'm gonna have a bigger fish than you will have and this is what our final product is going to look like we're gonna make little fish puppets as you're trying to make and so after you have cut out your hand you are going to cut it out so cut out your fish. All right, so after you have cut out the outline of your fish, you get to make it look cute. So you can add some eyes, maybe an eyelash, some fins, make it a smiley face. Kind of do your own thing, make it unique. So I added little eyes there. And then you can take your crayons and then you can color it. So it could be like the story. So you can make a red fish and a blue fish, or you can make a purple fish. Whatever speaks to you, this is your opportunity to be creative. You could draw stars on there or hearts, whatever you would like. And so you should have a finished product. And then remember that pencil that I said that you needed and your tape. So you're gonna take your tape and then you're just going to paste the pencil to your fish. There you go, your little puppet fish. So as I read the story, you can follow along with me and I look forward to hearing all about it. So now that we have our puppet fish, who's ready for the story? Wonderful. All right, let's get started. We have one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, and it's written by Dr. Seuss, and I'm reading this with permission from Penguin Random House. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, black fish, blue fish, Old fish, new fish. This one has a little star. This one has a little car. Say, what a lot of fish there are. Yes, some are red and some are blue. Some are old and some are new. Some are sad and some are glad. And some are very, very bad. Why are they sad and glad and bad? I do not know. Go ask your dad. Some are thin and some are fat. The fat one has a yellow hat. From there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Here are some who like to run. They run from fun in the hot, hot sun. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, what a lot of funny things go by. Some have two feet, and some have four. 
Some have six feet and some have more. Where do they come from? I can't say, but I bet they have come a long, long way. We see them come, we see them go. Some are fast and some are slow. Some are high and some are low. Not one of them is like another. Don't ask why, go ask your mother. Say, look at his fingers. One, two, three. How many fingers do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has eleven. Eleven. This is something new. I wish I had eleven too. Bump, bump, bump. Did you ever ride a wump? We have a wump with just one hump. But we know a man called Mr. Gump. Mr. Gump has a seven hump wump. So if you like to go bump, bump, just jump on the hump of the wump of Gump. Who am I? My name is Ned. I do not like my little bed. This is no good. This is not right. My feet stick out of bed all night. And when I pull them in, oh dear, my head sticks out of bed up here. We like our bike. It is made for three. Our mic sits up in back, you see. We like our mic, and this is why. Mike's is all the work when the hills get high. Hello there, Ned. How do you do? Tell me, tell me, what is new? How are things in your little bed? What is new? Please tell me, Ned. I do not like this bed at all. A lot of things have come to call. A cow, a dog, a cat, a mouse. Oh, what a bed. Oh, what a house. Oh dear, oh dear, I cannot hear. Will you please come over near? Will you please look in my ear? There must be something there, I fear. Say, look, a bird was in your ear, but he is out, so have no fear. Again, your ear can hear, my dear. My hat is old, my teeth are gold. I have a bird I like to hold. My shoe is off, my foot is cold. My shoe is off, my foot is cold. I have a bird I like to hold. My hat is old, my teeth are gold, and now my story is all told. We took a look, we saw a nook. On his head he had a hook, on his hook he had a book. On his book was how to cook. We saw him sit and try to cook, he took a look at the book on the hook. But a nook can't read, so a nook can't cook. So. What good to a nook is a hook cook book? The moon was out and we saw some sheep. We saw some sheep take a walk in their sleep. By the light of the moon, by the light of a star, they walked all night from near to far. I would never walk. I would take a car. I do not like this one so well. All he does is yell, yell, yell. I will not have this one about. When he comes in, I put him out. This one is as quiet as a mouse. I like to have him in the house. At our house, we open cans. We have to open many cans, and that is why we have a Zans. A Zans for cans is very good. Have you a Zans for cans? You should. I like to box. How I like to box. So every day I box a gox. In yellow socks I box my gox. I box in yellow gox box socks. It is fun to sing. If you sing with a ying, my ying can sing like anything. I sing high and my ying sings low. And we are not too bad, you know. This one I think is called a yink. He likes to wink, he likes to drink. He likes to drink and drink and drink. The thing he likes to drink is ink. The ink he likes to drink is pink. He likes to wink and drink pink ink. So, if you have a lot of ink, then you should get a yink. 
I think. Hop, hop, hop. I am a yop. All I like to do is hop from finger top to finger top. I hop from left to right and then hop, hop, I hop right back again. I like to hop all day and night from right to left and left to right. Why do I like to hop, hop, hop? I do not know. Go ask your pop. Brush, 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 comb, 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 comb. Blue hair is fun to brush and comb. All girls who like to brush and comb should have a pet like this at home. Who is this pet? Say, he is wet. You never yet met a pet, I bet. As wet as they let this wet pet get. Do you ever fly a kite in bed? Did you ever walk with tin cats on your head? Did you ever milk this kind of cow? Well, we can do it. We know how. If you never did, you should. These things are fun, and fun is good. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hello? I called you up to say hello. I said hello. Can you hear me, Joe? Oh no, I cannot hear your call. I cannot hear your call at all. This is not good, and I know why. And Mouse has cut the wire. Goodbye. From near to far, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. These yellow pets are called the Zeds. They have one hair up on their heads. Their hair grows fast, so fast they say. They need a haircut every day. Who am I? My name is Ish. On my hand, I have a dish. I have this dish to help me wish. When I wish to make a wish, I wave my hand with a big swish swish. Then I say, I wish for fish and I get fish right on my dish. So, if you wish to wish a wish, you may swish for fish with my ish wish dish. At our house, we play out back. We play a game called Ring the Gap. Would you like to play this game? Come down. We have the only gap in town. Look what we found in the park in the dark. We will take him home. We will call him Clark. He will live at our house. He will grow and grow. Will our mother like this? We don't know. And now, good night. It is time to sleep. So we will sleep with our pet, Zeep. Today is gone. Today was fun. Tomorrow is another one. Every day from here to there, funny things are everywhere. The end. I hope you enjoyed the book One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish by Dr. Seuss. And as a librarian, I always find it important to look for the message in a story. Now, if you look at this story, it's a very funny story. In fact, Dr. Seuss mentions a couple of times how there are funny things everywhere. But it's important to note that Dr. Seuss always had a little underlining meaning or message for kids in his stories. And for this one, this book is all about appreciating our differences. Everyone is different in their own unique way. And I think that Dr. Seuss had the right idea that we're all special and we should all have appreciation for our differences and also find out how we're alike. Take the time to get to know somebody around you who maybe, because you're different, maybe you thought we don't have anything in common, but we all share something in common. So look for something in someone else and appreciate everyone's individuality. I hope that you enjoyed this first story time series and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Again, I'm Miss Jillian, reading with the Petersburg Public Library this summer. Happy reading!